Hello everybody and welcome to episode 4 of 7 of the Ingen Barrels Tutorials. Now today you find me on a different map. If you have watched any of my Nimby Rail streams you might recognise this map as a multiplayer that I've been playing on with a few different people. Um, so today we're going to be working in the southwestern area with my Tube Southwest brand um, and we're going to be looking at how to scratch build and further improve your originally built stations. So the first thing to cover is that you can build stations like um, this. The You can automatically just select build stations like this. Sometimes they're a bit buggy like that one is, um, but I think that's mostly because of the amount of curve etc. Um, um, you can also just build um, stations on its own like this one. There's absolutely no platform track, but there's still a station here, as we can see. Boom. That's a station. It's still a station, there's just no building to it. We can also build stations with just, like, um, the bottom bit to it. I think I've got one up here. Um, no, I did have one there. Um, did I build this one like it? No. How about that one? Yes, so this side of the platform is taking away the platform and it's just the base. You can also build stations like that. Now, all these stations have been built using um, buildings, um, but the buildings have been put there for you. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to put the building down so you can create something like you'll see in the title in the um, thumbnail, Clapham Junction. Um, little building here, little bridge over to these platforms, I've not quite done this platform yet um, but the nice UK platform edge, platform middle um, etc um, so you know um, to be able to build something like that very very cool um, I'm also going to show you King's Cross, as King's Cross. Um, I did build, build this one um, so I can't take full credit um, but again build stations like this um, very lovely. What I am going to do, because it's really bugging me, is that's roof. Um, there you go, now the train's running underneath it. Um, I'll be talking about the different levels in a second. Um, but is there another good example? Um, Stephen Edge? No. Um, Peterborough. Peterborough. Where's Peterborough? There's Peterborough. Yeah. Um, so Peterborough is a great example of um, a scratch, uh, just like a, a normal scratch built station. Um, but what we're going to be working on is we're going to be working on a more complex station. Um, not Basingstoke, it's only got four platforms. Um, no. You know what, should we work on up here, Birmingham International? And then we'll just work on a simple station at Battersea. Um, both of them need to be upgraded, so why not do them in videos? First thing you want to do is you want to place down the platforms bare, um, or you want to place down them with tracks and just delete them. You're then going to need to install a mod. Now, if I can get the link to this, I'll put it in the description. If not, just head up top right here, subscribe to new mods in the workshop as the workshop UK platform mod. It should come up pretty easily. You're now going to place a bit of platform down, a bit of track down. Quite simple. You just gotta select it up here. Same same thing, you can just use your keybinds one to nine or whatever you've selected them as, um, and then just place it. Um, much the same as stations. Um, then if we come on to move, edit and delete, um, you can just move it or you can edit length. That sort of thing. Now you can use these arrows um, to increase the size either direction. Um, you can also use down here as width and height. So I height. What am I talking about? I like to say it as two um, meters because that's a good length. And then what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to use the arrow tools to line it up against a bit of track. Now I'm going to use these red markings. Hopefully you can see the little red marking at either end that's the end of the platform um, so that's where ideally I want to build it up to um, so I'm just going to do a speed it up of put me putting in the rest of the platform and then we will get to the rest of the station afterwards
you also want to try and um I forgot to add this um if you're going to put in more than one if you're going to do curved stations you will need more than one bit of platform to do it um and you're going to have to try and connect them here in such a way that they look pretty identical um if you use completely straight platforms uh, without toggling the curve bit you can just use one bit of track it'll go all the way along it'll be perfectly straight but if you don't you then have to build it boom there's one bit next bit um, and the keybind for buildings is U um, next bit built boom like that So that's our station done, right? Not quite. Um, first of all, I'm going to move this signal back. Uh, we'll talk about signals later in uh, the next episode. Um, but that's not my station done. These platforms are very thin. Um, now as much as they work, I probably want to put a bit more tiling on, a bit more platform. So one thing I could do is I could just put another one on the back of it. Then I've got a platform edge. I don't want that. Um, so with the UK platform pack, you also get another UK platform, um, which is just a grey tile which matches this. And um, really, what I recommend doing is just lining this up against next, like, lining it up next it, next to it. What am I saying? Um, to give it a bit more like thickness, that sort of thing, like that. Now you can put down as many as of these as you want because they're not going to like sh re show or reveal anything that you don't want them to they're just going to be put in to use a bit of space or make the platforms look a more realistic size um, now this bit should be the easier bit as all you're doing is going along and putting a few platforms that won't look equal all the way down but it should look decent okay so i'm pretty much done with putting in the platform in now this will easily suffice your station especially one this size um but i always like to just adding a little bit more I know there's not normally a station here in real life, but I'd imagine that the station entrance is on this road here. So what I might want to do is putting a station entrance. For example, here at Wandsworth, I'm putting a couple of little buildings and a bridge over. And for Putney, I have built a couple of little shelters and a little um, building underneath it, which implies it's a station. And then at Barnes, I've just built a big building and a couple of... Um, bridges and I'm just going to assume that this sets down for that building to the road that sort of thing um, so what I'm going to put here is I am going to put because it's a quite a small station what I'm going to find is I want something nice um, something that looks nice and um, we'll use a pav pavement tile was meant to be like a pavement tile. Um, uh, what we'll do is we'll pop that there and then we'll pop another bit of pavement perhaps um, there we go nine to make sure it's the pavement oh hang on that pavement's three isn't it and then we'll just connect that up like that bring it out to there keep it nice and straight that doesn't look the best mostly because we've put the pavement the other way around hang on we'll just flip that around now what I'm going to put down is because that doesn't look that good 
Um, I'm going to put down a little bit of a vault roof. Um, um, I'm fairly sure most of these are not mods. Um, can't be certain because I didn't put in all the mod packs. But as far as I'm aware, only the UK station platform mod really is necessary. And I'm just going to put in the opposite on the, the same on the opposite side. We'll put in one the other side. And there's some nice little station entrances either side for our station. Absolutely beautiful. Um, and that is a decently good detailed station. I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing the path. But as we didn't have any roads particularly close to our station itself. Um, to like build the station up to didn't really want to do that um but um you know um
Of course, as always, please do leave them in the um, comment section. Um, episodes 5, 6, and 7 should be coming out in the near future. Hopefully. Um, if you do enjoy, please like, subscribe, um, and share these um, with anyone else that may, may benefit. Um, but yeah, thanks, as always, for watching these. They really, really help me. They really, really benefit me. Um, every single view. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Thank you.